Hi there, my name is Patrick from Next Minute. Just going to give you a quick run through on our new admin framework release. Now when you select admin, you'll see all your options at the top here. We are in the basics tab first. This is where you now go to delete dummy data if you haven't already, and where your organization details can be found. Next, we have the users tab. This is where you'll now go to see a list of your existing users and invited users. Disable a user here, and here you can see who the subscription owner is. To invite a new user now, select here, then enter their name, email, and role. As you can see here, your subscription plan will be automatically updated. Your GPS tracking settings can be found here now too. Also, your role management. Select to add a new role here, and tick which permissions to allow for your user role. You can also collapse certain headings and sections within each tab that you don't need to view. The templates tab is where you now go to upload your logo. You can now also include an email signature that will include your logo, if you like, in any merge fields. To add a template now, select Add here. Enter the template name, and type in any text here. Select here to insert your merge fields. You can change the font size and color here and insert a snippet. Once happy, select Save. Select here to change your default templates. The same steps apply for your quotes, invoices, supplier invoices, and order templates. Next, we have the messaging tab, which is where you can also upload your logo and email signature. The messaging tab includes your jobs, tasks, accounts, contacts, reports, and message template setup. The accounting tab is where you now go to edit your financial details and set up your accounting integration with Xero, MYRB, or Atashe. It also includes your tax rates and defaults that have been synced from your accounting provider. Next, we have the settings tab, and this is where you can add and edit your job types, statuses, pricing types, priorities, and task categories. Also, this is where you now edit your job number sequence, contact types, sale item units and tags, and also your quote, invoice, and order number sequence. Just to note here that if you use your accounting provider invoice numbers, then you can ignore the invoice number sequence here. The Suppliers tab is where you now go to add and edit your quote and supply invoice import templates. Also, if you are a placemaker's customer, this is where you will find your integration settings. And finally, the Subscription tab includes all your subscription and billing details. You also go here if you need to update your card details. Well, thanks for watching and I hope this has helped. Please feel free to get in contact with us if you have any other questions regarding this new release.